Hi guys, I'm Marcel. New microphone, new future. <laughs> We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, making this possibly one more video, this one, uh, before we do the 10K celebration and the giveaway. Gonna give away about $1,000 worth of supplements uh, and some other cool prizes along with those. And really excited for that. Be on the lookout. It's gonna post on the day that we hit the 10K and I look forward to hearing your comments. That's what will qualify you for the giveaways. Today, I wanna to talk about a topic, this three-in-one supplements. Um, I got an email, I've had a lot of comments over the past year asking about three-in-one supplements. Is this a way to go? It sounds easier. It sounds like the dosages are kind of predetermined for you, which can be read as a good thing to people. However, I've always uh, advised against going that route for different reasons, but I've never mentioned it in a video, and I decided after getting a, a very specific message a couple weeks ago, naming a brand and naming a video channel that talked about that brand and that he trusted the channel, and uh, the channel is uh, uh, Thomas DeLay. He has a good channel. I watch it. I've watched that Inamin video that he did uh, about a year and a half ago. I uh, went back and watched it again. And he does mention a, a specific brand that has a three-in-one supplement. And he talks about it being super important that, uh, sorry, I don't mean to tease, but you know, his words, right? Super important without real clarification that you take a one-to-one -one NMN with resveratrol which anyone following this topic knows from the more recent research, that's really, I mean, for other reasons too, that's not really necessary. But more and more, we're seeing resveratrol in lower dosages could be as beneficial, if not more beneficial, than higher dosages of resveratrol. And also, uh, taking it every other day may be beneficial to people who exercise a lot. Uh, it was it was enough information that, as I've mentioned before, I was inspired to start taking resveratrol every other day, and on those off days, I take quercetin, and that's been working out really well for me from an energy perspective. So, you know, I, I kind of adapt based on my own experiences. Now, watching that video, looking at some of the comments, thinking about this topic, I want to talk more about the three-in-one. I've got some specific reasons that I don't think it's a good idea to, to take NMN in, in this manner. But in the video, uh, Thomas, who is 34, talks about anti-aging benefits. And he says, I like the benefits I'm getting uh, from NMN, but he never names those benefits. Now, I'm really curious what they are, Tom, because you're 34, so how much aging have you been doing? I mean, he's very fit. He's got a great channel, by the way. I, I, I will continue to watch it, and I can tell people to watch it. There's a lot of great information about the keto, di keto diet, a lot of great information about intermittent fasting, exercising. Certainly, he's very fit. But I don't understand the connection and why, you know, it's super important. It's just not quite enough information for me to inspire me. Even though I did watch that video, it was, a, it was part of a collection of videos that I watched when I was researching this topic. Um, you know, I'm trying to tread a little carefully here because I really don't want to start any kind of uh, <laughs> low-level war or affiliate war here. Uh, I do take another brand that I talk about quite a bit, but I at least I express the reasoning behind it. And um, I don't see the reasoning behind this. So let's get into that part of it. Um, the dosages. These capsules from the Verso brand uh, come in, uh, they, they include 250 milligrams of NMN, 250 milligrams of resveratrol, 140 milligrams of TMG. Now, why are those decidedly the dosage? Uh, would a 100 pound, 5 foot 2 woman need to take the same as a 300 pound man? who's six foot six, I mean, it, it doesn't really add up to me. Now, how much should each one take? I don't know. But flexibility of dosing seems like a really good idea if you're gonna sell supplements to a broad variety of people, different ages, uh, different genders, and uh, give them the flexibility. It's one of the reasons I like taking powder. And also that recent science I mentioned about resveratrol you know, having benefits at lower dosages and taken less often. 
as 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 Fizetin, for example, I take three days a month. You can take it as little as one or two days a month and still kill senescent cells with Fizetin, which is a, it's a flavonoid. It's similar in, in some respects to resveratrol and quercetin. So I don't take those two on the day. I take Fizetin. But just as an example, taking these things less often can still have benefits. I, I think there's probably an argument to be made for taking NMN somewhat less often or taking some breaks. I don't, but some people have reported that they do, and they feel an extra bump when they go back on it. So this pulsing, this concept of pulsing, I think is... Uh, is potentially really interesting and could be very powerful. Again, you can't uh, adjust your dosages. Uh, some people report having some uh, nausea issues from any any of these supplements. Uh, resveratrol may be the most common one, but I've seen it from different ones. How are you going to know? You know, how are you going to know which one? If you're taking one capsule that's got all three, you can't change the dosage and you can't respond to any potential side effects. I had some side effects to resveratrol, by the way, about eight days of light flu-like, cold-like symptoms that went away. So I wouldn't give up just because you might have a minor adverse reaction. Obviously, you want to be aware of it. Obviously, as with all of this stuff, consult your doctor. Make sure they're in the loop on this supplement taking that you're doing, whether it's vitamins, whether it's supplements. I mean, make sure you don't have any specific deficiencies that need to be addressed. Get your blood work done. I had my blood work done, but not my NAD levels tested before I started taking them. And I, I, I would advise people, if you can afford to do it, do that. It does cost, but certainly get your blood work done and have a look at things to make sure there's no irregularities or imbalances going on before you start a new regimen, a new plan. Um, testing, something very important to reliable NMN sources. Uh, testing the supplements, a third-party testing. You want a manufacturer that can provide not only the cell certification of the NMN, but a third-party test. I don't understand how, I'm certain that you could do the test. But how could it be affordable with three inside one capsule? You have to separate them to test for purity. You know, if purity is important, how can you test for purity? That's what the that's the biggest part of the test result. There's basically two parts to these test results. One, yes, it contains NMN. Two, this is the purity amount. How can you do that with a capsule that is by definition not pure NMN? Because it's mixed in with admittedly, resveratrol and TMG. So testing for purity seems complicated. It could be by design, by the way, but certainly, at minimum, uh, complicated. So the other thing that comes to mind when I, when I looked into this is manufacturing. Uh, this is another a tricky one because you can manufacture something in the U.S., uh, the components, the raw materials, don't have to come from the U.S. As a matter of fact, if you look at Tesla, you know their raw materials come from all over the world. The parts of their car come from all over the world. However, they manufacture the car in the U.S. This is true, and they can state that legally. Can you state that a supplement that contains three supplements, just because you combine them in a capsule in the U.S., does that mean they're manufactured in the U.S.? I'm not picking on them or on uh, Thomas at all. I'm saying that this is something that people have thrown back at me in the comments. I'm looking at this brand because it's got a USA flag on their website. Doesn't mean NMN. To my knowledge, NMN is not manufactured uh, commercially in the US. Doesn't mean a lab can't make some NMN, a batch you know, of unstable NMN. I say unstable because by nature that molecule is an unstable molecule, and so you, you need to stabilize it. You need to crystallize it. There's a drying process. Um, there's a video that I made about that. I'll show you at the very end. I'll give a link to that. Explaining the process. If I had a laboratory environment NMN manufacturing plant in the U.S., I'd, I'd want to make a video showing that process I mean, I'd be showing that off. And I've looked, I've asked supplement companies that have come to me and said, we manufacture in the U.S. Like it's in their, their email blast. And I say, where? 
can you show me the process? I would love to come visit your plant. Nothing. No response. Similar to the guy who said, I'll pay you more. You know, I'll pay you more. By the way, they offer a 20% discount for us. So how much are the regular people have to pay? You know, uh, discounts are great. Discount codes are great. They're built into the cost. I understand that. But 20% sounds like a lot. And it's also reminded me of another supplement company that wrote me and said, we'll beat anyone's price and we'll pay you more as an affiliate, which I'm not doing this for money. So I'm not looking to make more money. I get a few percent when you use my code that supports the channel and that's it. We're trying to do is grow the audience, grow the channel, grow the results. And I don't think that taking three supplements in one is the best way to do it. Again, because of the dosage questions, testing questions, manufacturing questions. If you want to learn about more about how NMN is actually made, uh, check out this video. And also there are links in the description with the discount code to Do Not Age, which is the supplement company that I go to for my supplements and buy these individually. Thanks for watching.